everyone, welcome back to Apollo's Odyssey. I'm your host, Apollo Asteria, and today I'm over here at the Integratron in Joshua Tree, California. Um, well, actually, this is technically Landers, California. And uh, I'm actually going to be going to Giant Rock as well later, filming with Blake and Brent from Third Phase of Moon. They're out here. So as you can see, I have the Integratron behind me right now. And this was actually created by George Van Tassel in the late 50s. And it was his belief that apparently he, some aliens from Venus came down and explained to him how to build this life extension technology. Um, that's what he explains. There's a lot of weird things that happen with this whole story, like some CIA involvement and a lot of kind of interesting aspects. Um, you know, like later I'm going to be going to Giant Rock and Giant Rock is actually where the first uh, UFO conference was really held and this kind of UFO cult was formed around it. So that's kind of all what was happening here and why, you know, the Integratron is here, which is actually near Giant Rock. But um, what's interesting about this place and the reason why it was built here was that uh, the supposed beings from Venus came down and basically told him that humans don't live long enough that we don't have a very long uh, life and you know basically we die before we reach enlightenment they say so apparently uh, the reason why they gave him this was so that we could live longer so it's supposed to be like a life extension technology it's made through um, sort of it sort of works as like a tesla coil it has uh, works with plasma energy and electromagnetic energy but there's actually three intersecting underground rivers under it and it kind of has this energy vortex that comes up out of it. And the way it works now is actually completely um, acoustically perfect. There's no metal in the original making of it. And originally it was said that they used it for time travel, um, <laughs> which I know sounds really crazy, and uh, rejuvenation, it's a rejuvenation device. Okay, so what's interesting is that now the Integratron is actually not used in the same way that it was used before. Um, it was actually redone, the insides of it are no longer, you know, completely without metal. So uh, it's not actually used in the same way anymore. And I think the original way they used it, it was really interesting because I think they may have actually figured something out and they had to have it taken apart and rebuilt because, you know, whatever technology that they had might have been dangerous. And as you can see, there's several wire fences you know, surrounding this place. Uh, the 29 Palms military base is right out here, which is very secret and supposedly connects with underground tunnels to a lot of other bases, such as Area 51 and uh, Dolce, New Mexico. So definitely a very interesting place and probably my favorite place to come to, um, to visit. I come here several times a year and just really enjoy being out here. So let's go check out Giant Rock. So this cave right here is actually the location of where the person was blown up under the rock here. Um, it was Kritz and George Van Tassel kind of worked together out here. And there's some weird like CIA involvement between them. Uh, Chris, the person who was blown up under here. And there's different stories, like some say it was suicide. Some say that, you know, his uh, dynamite actually went off and he actually had a, a home under here. So there was like a whole like kind of underground bunker here and he had all these kind of different radio devices and apparently, you know, he was working with, you know, some other foreign power, I believe. So there's a lot of really interesting involvement with all this and the way that you know, UFO conferences started out here, um, you know, so there's like a weird correlation between all that and the technology here and it, it all kind of surrounds the stories of George Van Tassel and Frank Kritz who was blown up under here. So uh, this is definitely a really uh, strange place. So right now I'm actually on top of Quartz Hill, which is over by Giant Rock. And behind me over here is the 29 Palms military base. It's 
kind of crazy but because you can't really tell that there's much going on over there it kind of looks like a trailer park or something but when you zoom in with the camera i've noticed before that there's a lot of trailers and then they have like the blacked out suvs and everyone kind of um seems to be like going towards like one area over there and you're not allowed to really go back there and they say that the 29 palms base actually connects to several underground bases with these underground tunnels that actually connect to Area 51 in Dolce, New Mexico, and all these different areas around the country. So, you know, what's really crazy is that there's actually a map that was found on Third Phase of Moon, and uh, it aired on Third Phase of Moon. It was found by someone who apparently worked at the 29 Palms base, which is right over here. And uh, they say that it actually showed on the map how it connected to all these other underground bases. You know, what's really interesting is just this location. We have the Integratron over here, Giant Rock, and then Crystal Hill. Like maybe there's some reason why they're doing it here specifically for the energy here. Like maybe there's something going on. That's why the military feels they need to have a base here. So what's interesting is that this entire hill is made completely of quartz crystal. And at one point, the Hopi tribe considered this place very sacred. They still do to this day. But at one point, um, they only allowed the chiefs of the tribes and the shamans to come up here and do ceremonies. So they actually cut out a bath out of quartz crystal up here. And there used to be at one point giant branches of quartz that just kind of came out of the mountain here. So, you know, at one point someone actually came in and cut the quartz down, unfortunately. So there aren't branches, of course, coming up anymore like there was before. But um, they actually had uh, the baths carved out right here. And this is where the chief or the shaman from the tribe would come and do like ceremonies. Uh, last time I was out here, I actually found doTERRA blooming under giant rock, which is this like psychoactive moonflower that uh, only blooms at night. and. Uh, from my understanding, they actually used to do ceremonies up here with the doTERRA in the crystal baths. So this is definitely a very interesting place and something is really special about it for sure. You know, I think it makes a lot of sense that the military would be here because there's definitely something to the energy here. And also I forgot to mention, there used to be a landing strip over here. This is actually technically a landing strip that was put together by Howard Hughes and George Van Tassel. And they actually came together to build this landing strip uh, down here in the valley here, which is where uh, Giant Rock is. And it's actually a registered UFO or aircraft landing strip. So pretty interesting place. Who knows if any UFOs have actually landed here, but maybe. So in closing, uh, you know, this was definitely a very interesting location and I think that, you know, it's amazing that the UFO kind of disclosure scene started here. I mean, I can't think of any other place that's more epic than this place right here. So if you haven't been before, I highly recommend it. Uh, there's a lot of interesting uh, energies playing out here and I've had a lot of very interesting times here for sure myself, so highly recommend it. So thanks everyone for joining me tonight and until next time on Apollo's Odyssey. Over and out.